Hey, it's Randy from Anglers International, and we are gonna show you how to correctly tie a drop shot rig today. Whether you've never fished this before in your life, or you've tried it, missed a bunch of fish, don't feel like you're doing it the right way, we're gonna show you how to rig it correctly to make sure none of that keeps happening and you can have the best summer bass fishing experience possible. Now we got someone at the shop who I'm pretty sure doesn't know how to fish any baits beside a drop shot. So I'm gonna have Matthew here show you how to correctly tie this bait up. All right, to start for the drop shot, one of the most important things to make sure that your hook is straight and everything is working out great, you put the line in with in the end with the hook point facing you. So I'm showing it like this, how it's facing you. Put it through, and then we're gonna use a Palomar knot to tie the drop shot. And you put it, you'd have to double it back through, and you'll see you'll have a loop, and then your doubled up tag end here. And you simply do an overhand knot with this loop. Tighten it almost all the way, but I like to leave it a little bit loose so your knot doesn't like nick itself and fold in on itself, whatever. And then you get this loop and you take it around the entire hook, on the entire hook. So you're putting the hook through that loop right yep. there? Okay. You bring the hook through the loop. And then you have this loop, your tag end through the loop, and the main end, the main line through the loop as well. It's important that you have the tag end and the main line through the loop when you cinch it up. And then I like to just wet it really quick before I tighten it. And again, make sure that tag end is through the loop and grab the tag end, not the main line. No. So just that little piece right there. Just right? tag end okay. and tighten it. And you'll see there's a little bit of a loop here and that's from, you have to pull the main line a tiny bit sometimes, just gently and then tighten it with the tag end. And you'll see right now that when I go to tighten it up. My main line's here, my tag end's here. This hook isn't straight, it's, it's upside down actually. Yeah, so that must be a, a lot of problems that people have when they tie a drop shot rig is it ends up looking like this. So if that happens, how would, how would you go about fixing that? Yeah, so right here, everything's it's upside down. It's almost done. Well, what people forget to do is you take your tag end and you just have to go right back through the eye of the hook, but back the same way you came in the first time where it's going in. So with, with that point. same side yeah, as the, the same hook side point. With the hook point towards you and then you'll see when i tighten it tag ends here main lines here tighten it that hooks perfectly straight up so when you have your bait on you're going to get the perfect hook up every time so now we got the drop shot rig tied with the hook facing the right way so the next step is the weight you want to show us how we connect that yep the last thing you need besides your bait obviously is the weight so you get your tag end here and you simply end through this little i guess it's the eye of the weight and what you'll notice with these is you can grab the tag end and the main line and simply pull up until that line gets crimped right in, the, right in the top. So now, thanks to Matthew, we have a perfect drop shot rig. We got our hook point with good exposure standing far from the line for good hookups. Got our weight properly attached to the bottom and we're ready to fish deep, shallow, and catch bass all summer long. If you guys found this video helpful, interesting, or beneficial in any way, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a like and drop a comment below if you have any other rigging questions about different techniques or ways to present your bait to get you some more bass in the boat. So this is Randy from Anglers International and thanks again for watching. We will be sharing many more tips and techniques to help you catch some more bass. So make sure you stay tuned and let us know what you want to see.